what is going on you guys it is scorpion reds tarot yes indeed what is the deal my fine my divine ass feminine it is time to find out what is going on for the daily bread for today march the 11th and tomorrow march the 12th yes indeed yes indeed so let's say shout out and much love and the big up my old to all of my new subscribers, thank you so much for coming through, liking, sharing, and subscribing. I thank you so much, you all, for the support. If this video resonates and if you would like to book a personal and private reading, you can do so by skipping on over to that About tab on my YouTube page. There's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me, okay? You can go ahead and click there and book anytime that is available and I got you baby I got you and a lot of times if there isn't any uh availability for that same day a lot of times I'll still contact you to see if you want it done that same day if I can squeeze in some availability so nine times out of ten the day that you book it unless you specifically want it on the day that you book it I'll probably try to see if I can bump you up and squeeze you in a little bit sooner okay so um if this video resonates and if you would like a personal um, oh, if you would like to give a love donation, if this video resonates, you want to give a dollar or two, my PayPal information is in the description, okay? So let's get into the reading, ladies. All right, Father God, thank you so much for waking us up today. Father God, please give us nourishment. Please give us daily bread for the Divine Feminine for March the 11th and March the 12th, Monday and Tuesday. This is going to be a glorious and victorious week. Father God, we come up when we live in our life like it's golden in the name of Miss Jill Scott. Okay? We, is not, we did not come here to play, honey. We came here to slay. We come here to slay, Father. Please give us guidance for the Divine Feminine for my Find my divine ass feminine. Please give my girls, my bosses, cause we's a boss. Ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. Give us, give us a ball. You know I'm silly. Give me guidance. Reach down and touch the store. Give us guidance today, Father, for the divine and the fine feminine. For March the 11th and 12th. Thank you so much for all the messages and the blessings in the past, present, and future. Come on through today, Father. Come on. What are y'all talking about? They sending me messages in Spanish. I don't speak no Espanolos. What are they talking about? <laughs> they me, look, they spending me, sending me messages in Espanolos. I don't speak no Espanolos. Any of my girls that y'all can translate for me? Let me see what this say. Que arisque. Eh, eh. See, mm -mm. nope. I need one embarrassment. So it said, que es por favor. Uh, uh, hola, como estás? Hola. See, now I don't know. I don't know. Me no speak no Espanol. You need to speak to me in English. In English. Okay? Alright. Tell me something, baby, because I need to know. Let me see. Okay, tell me something, baby, because I need to know, like a Vicky, a Gracios. I need to know, baby. Let me know what I need to know today. Give me my daily bread. Father, thank you so much, Father. Oh, Father, oh, Father. Oh, Father. Wait, first I was Mexican, or now I'm Af I'm going to sound like an African. I don't know what the fuck I'm sounding like today. Tell me something, baby, because I need to know. All right. All right, I'm reloading. Oh, Jesus. See, you know what? People texting me all this foolishness. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone while I'm trying to do my business. I'm trying to do my business. Y'all don't be texting me no foolishness right now. All right, so listen. Listen me. Listen to me, ladies. So in regards to today, and I totally did not do the top off. I'm just doing whatever. So I'm doing whatever's clever today. So it looks like a lot of you guys are being guided by your intuition. And you are, you just walked away from a tower moment. You see those towers in the back? I feel like it might have been one or two things that was pretty catastrophic to you that either was removed or 
you know, just was removed from your life. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, it could be a job that you had your intuition and it's time for you to part ways and time for you to move on and possibly a relationship. I feel like you were stretching yourself so thin right here, trying to give to, you know, trying to give yourself to multiple things. And... To the point where it's like people were coming to you begging for your favor, begging for your mercy so much. I felt like you were left with only crumbs yourself. You see, this person got two, this person got three coins, and you were only left with one. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hold on, you guys. So, I put you in a position, I feel like you're still very charitable, you still want to help people, and you're still going to be a very given person, but at the same time, I feel like before you try to, before you try to give to anyone else, I feel like you're, you're, you're trying to make sure that before you give yourself a gift which you have to anybody else or try to call yourself helping anybody, you just want to make sure that it's the best thing for you, that it's in line with your foundation, okay? Because you're, what you've learned so far is, you know, make sure that the people that you're giving to understand your beliefs, understand your wants, understand your desires, and that you're giving to people that are balanced and that can possibly give back to you because you see these people, these are beggars. These are borrowers. These are not people that look like they will ever be in a position to return the favor to you if you were ever in need. So I believe that was the true lesson because at the end of the day, you want to be emotionally fulfilled and you know, you, I feel like you just really want to be happy and you Realize that in order for me to find true happiness, I have to stick to my beliefs. I have to stick to my wants and my teachings and what I was deserve, what I deserve, my upbringing. My family treated me and taught me better than this. I seen better in my own house. I seen a happy and healthy environment. I seen my father be a man of faith and him respect his marriage vows and treat my mother with respect. Okay, he wasn't running around out here giving, you know, trying to charitably give to people that, you know, were not in his household. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, Divine Feminine wants to be happy. And not only do they want all of their cups to be fulfilled, they want it to be fulfilled in a way where they can be giving and to help other people. But not to a point where it will make them feel uncomfortable. Where they're taking away from their own resources. No. To somebody. You're giving to somebody that is a taker. Just take, 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 take. This is a man. This is that king of pentacles in reverse. He's not willing to put that hard work in. He don't really care about how uncomfortable that he's making the empress here. He just wants her to provide and to give to him. With him doing minimal. And that, that you know what? That's something that. That was the lesson. That was the lesson. Because at the end of the day, what did I teach you? What, what, what did you see at home? Is that the foundation that you've seen at home? Your father going out there giving to beggars, to anyone? No. He was guided by his morals. He was guided by his principles. He was guided by his faith. You can't go and spread yourself and give into so many that you only have a little bit to take back home to your true foundation. That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. Because these people that you were given to in the past that were not able to give to you and that left you in a place where your home environment was tarnished. These are people that possibly were just in and out for sex only. You know? In and out for sex only. And as you can see, that page of wands, you see, walking away, leaving someone standing behind. Trying to figure out, well, where the fuck is you going? I'm going somewhere else because I got what I wanted. And, um, thank you, I guess. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, 
You got to stop giving your energy to people like that. Because at the end of the day, you're the queen of wands. And people, I mean, you're the queen of cups. People know that and they see that of you, Divine Feminine. You are very emotionally giving. You're very nurturing. You know how to love and take care of people. You're a good mom. You're a good caterer. You're a good cook. I mean, you are picture perfect perfection in regards to what a true woman, what a true empress is. Only thing that you had to learn throughout this time in this period was that you have everything that you need. You have so much that you're able to give to others. So just use your upbringing, your faith, your values you know what's right from wrong. You know the teachings that you've been taught ever since a child. You know what a true, healthy commitment looks like. Don't put yourself out in the arena with beggars and choosers. Okay? Don't put yourself in the arena with beggars and choosers. Find and be with the person that is willing to give to you in the same manner that you can give to them. If they are too busy handing out crumbs to beggars, to anyone that come beg a favor, oh, can I have a moment of your time? They'll just give it. You got to be with someone that has a little bit more discernment because at the end of the day, how much, if they came to the table with all this, but they're giving it to everybody else, how much does this person really have to give to you? And at the end of the day, I ain't no charity case. <laughs> I'm using my intuition to make better decisions because I've been through this once, twice. Ain't going to be no three times. Ain't going to be no three times around. Divine Feminine said, oh, not today. Not today. And damn sure, not tomorrow. So I feel like the Divine Feminine... Um, I feel like the vibe feminine still feels a little bit uncomfortable throughout this whole situation. I, I, I definitely, I don't see any swords where they're thinking about this shit a lot. But I most definitely feel that the divine feminine, she's feeling a little bit more emotionally secure now. And she's just being guided by her intuition and just trying to go back to her original foundation as to what her morals is of what she wants like she wants marriage she wants commitment and this hierophant is giving her the keys you see the keys down there the hierophant is giving you the keys like girl you know what to do you know what to do i taught you better you know what to do you know what to do and honestly the divine feminine wants somebody that's gonna come through and serve her like a queen Cause she didn't, she didn't, she she didn't gave enough to people. She didn't gave, she didn't gave enough of herself towards the way, you know, which her environment ain't even the same anymore. Divine feminine, excuse me. I want you guys like this Wednesday or something like that. Set up an appointment. You're gonna get your hair done. Set up an appointment to get you a facial massage, get you a pedicure. I want you to just do whatever it is that you need to do to pamper yourself and to make you feel good. Because that Empress Empress is telling me y'all need a makeover. Y'all need a makeover and y'all just not saying that there's anything wrong at all because there ain't nothing wrong. But I want you to make yourself feel good from the inside out. And focus on your beliefs and what you know that you deserve. Please give me divine guidance for... What is this? Appreciation in reverse. I feel like in your work environment, you possibly feel unappreciated. Um, yeah, honestly. I feel like y'all felt like that last week when y'all was at work. Walking away, community, and the thinking woman. Yeah. Okay. So, y'all in a situation where you feel unappreciated. And I do feel like this has to do with work. I feel like y'all are in a situation at work where y'all feel unappreciated. You're contemplating walking away, but I feel like you're trying to plan and do it in a way where it's going to, you know, roll off flawlessly. And I do feel like some of y'all are possibly scared to walk away from this job and just to start all over again. But honey, that's all you've been doing <laughs> 2018 and throughout 2019 is shaking shit that ain't 
They don't need to be part of your foundation of starting over. All right? Stop delaying this. If you don't feel appreciated, create a new platform for yourself. Take your power back. Because at the end of the day, I feel like you were at work with a whole bunch of cackling ass goddamn hens. These three little bitches over there, the three little pigs, hating. Hating. And you just sitting over there looking, thinking at these bitches. See, like, these bitches don't know. I would knock. I would clock out when I would knock each and every one of these little bitches out in here in this lunchroom. Okay, so you've been thinking to yourself, Divine Feminine, it might be time to leave because they on this little high school bullying shit and they don't know. They don't know who they do. They don't know for what they do. Dear Lord, protect them. Protect them. <laughs> protect them for they not to know for what they do. Father, help them. <laughs> <laughs> Father, please give me guidance in regards to this situation in regards to this energy for today, the 11th, and tomorrow, the 12th. What is going on with this? Because this seems like work. What is going on with this community, you little bitch? Feel no goddamn appreciation. Y'all bitches ain't got to appreciate me because I leave this motherfucker right now. Y'all can figure this work out by yourself. Don't even get my brain and start rolling. Fuck y'all mean up in this conference room. Talking all this shit. Okay? The star card. It, I done told y'all, listen. Divine Feminine said, I'm the star up in this motherfucker. I'm the star up in this motherfucking... <laughs> like, for real? I done seen everything that I need to see. And again, she's being guided by her intuition. And she... Okay, that's that Herman card in reverse. Girl, girl, that hermit is saying, uh-uh, I done sat back and I done thought about this long and hard enough. The hermit is coming out and is being led to the moon, to the intuition. And that hermit, while they were in their rest, because I feel like the Divine Feminine, they sat there and watched these little bitches running and talking and all this shit, and they say nothing, they say nothing. Divine Feminine just been sitting back looking smug at them bitches, like, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. I see y'all over there running y'all fucking mouth. Y'all think y'all slick, and y'all think y'all getting all the time, but at the, the whole time, I'm emotionally fulfilled with y'all talk. I'm still getting paid regardless if y'all bitches don't like me or not. Do you understand? I am the star. I bought the energy into this organization and I poured my energy into this foundation to make this motherfucker do what it do. I am the star and y'all bitches is jealous. Y'all don't have to appreciate me because at the end of the day, when I walk about this door, I take everything the fuck I know with me and you got to work hard to find another bitch to replace me. And that's the one thing. Yeah. Uh huh. I've been reserved. I've been keeping myself back and I ain't really been saying too much. I ain't been saying too much. But don't get me fucked up because at the end of the day, y'all can call me smug. Y'all can say, oh, this bitch thinks she like that. I know I'm all that, bitch. Bitch, you guessed it. And you was motherfucking right. Y'all don't appreciate me. Y'all don't appreciate how hard I work. Y'all little bitches, y'all want to sit here. Look, y'all want to have all this conflict. And <laughs> that bitch, they say, you, you fucking right. Hmm. Huh. Guess what? I'm smarter than the average bear. I bet you I'll walk out this bitch on top. Yeah, yes, yeah. Some of y'all changing y'all jobs. Some of y'all is changing y'all jobs. Let me tell y'all because y'all realize I'm the star. And I will be even better. In an even better position if I get up and leave here. Because y'all motherfuckers don't appreciate me. Y'all don't appreciate me. Y'all ain't going to appreciate me until I walk away and y'all left with these dumbass bitches. And that's exactly what you... That's exactly what y'all are going to be telling somebody. Very smug and very full of yourself. Look, fuck y'all. The, the, the three little bears up here, you think that they can do my job? You think they smarter than me? It take three of them to do half of what I can do. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all ain't this motherfucking job, bitch. I'm not about to be sitting here trying to balance this shit no more. I have better options somewhere. Y'all can kiss my ass. Like, <laughs> straight like that. Straight up now tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Uh-uh-uh. Okay? Straight up.
straight up now tell me. Oh, God, please give me guidance for the Divine Feminine and Love. We about to get on up. Our chemistry, girl. Divine Feminine, why are you coming through like this? Why is you coming through like this, girl? Oh. Divine Feminine, you real nasty. You real feisty this week. Ugh, real. What? You being guided by your intuition. You was just not taking no shit. Anything that's making you uncomfortable. You see this Empress in reverse? Anything that's making you uncomfortable. You ain't got it to do. Because you're self-fulfilled right now. And it's like, I'm trying to be nice. I'm really not trying to be smug and full of myself. But I am that bitch. I'm that much of the bitch. And I'm that much of that bitch that I can share with you. That I can give to you. And I got that much power and respect around this bitch. That motherfucker served me. Test me not. Fuck you mean. Fuck you mean. Fuck your man. Boy. And you can listen. Come on now. Come on now. Right, Divine Feminine, she's getting that chemistry back. I feel like in general, like, y'all are getting that spice back. Y'all are, like, kicking ass and taking motherfucking names later. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I don't even know who the fuck that was. I figured out who the fuck that was, lady. They shouldn't even blink at me like that. That motherfucker blinked at me wrong. They got that ass whooped. Oh, well. Like, <laughs> you understand? Y'all are kicking asses and taking names later. You have got your fucking chemistry back. You've got your mojo back. You hear me? Tuh. Huh, huh. You are optimistic about life. You know you out here winning. You not taking no more L's. You not. You not. You had a long heart-to-heart -heart conversation with yourself. And you realized that it took you too long to sit there and face yourself. It took you a long time to face yourself and to wake up and see these certain changes that you need to do to make shit better. And now that you done address the things with yourself, because guess what? Couldn't nobody help you with this. You had to help yourself. You had to look at the man in the mirror. The man in the mirror. Uh, uh, asking you to change your ways. That ain't the words, but whatever. I just, whatever. Anyway. You had to separate yourself from this toxic situation that reminded you of something that you've seen in your childhood and your past. This reminds you of your toxic relationship with your mother and your father or your sister and her um, kid's father, whoever. This reminded you, this person that is in this commitment, this person that is in this commitment, but however... Feeling like they have to go out and charitably give crumbs to other people. When the only person that you should have been giving to is me. Who the fuck are these beggars? Who are these bitches? Why you got motherfuckers coming around begging to be around my man? What? 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 Mm-mm. 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 That shit reminded me too much of some shit that I done seen in my past. And you know what? It might have took a little bit. It might have took a little bit. But I did what I needed to do. And I separated from that shit. And not only that. Divine Feminine is over her fucking ex. Because she realized that this person does not have the same morals as she does. Y'all do not have the same religious factors. Y'all do not have the same beliefs, wants, or desires in regards to relationships and commitment. It took you a while. But you realize that this person and you are not on the same page. And huh, I'm good. But I got my juice back, bitch. And now that I done separated and healed from this. Because I realized that this was something toxic. I'm on my level. Bitch, I'm on my level. Grab you a shovel. Dig, bitch. Okay? <laughs> I'm on my level. Grab you a shovel. Dig, bitch. Because whatever ain't resonating, bitch, I'm putting it in the dirt. <laughs> I put it in my dirt. I'm putting it in the dirt in my backyard, honey. I'm leveling up. In the divine feminine, some additional guidance and love, and then we are out of here. I'm asking you to change your ways. All right, there's someone observing you. 
you might got a little online stalk or somebody is looking at you online they're waiting for the divine timing to be right for them to actually communicate with you because right now they don't feel like it's a good time to communicate with you because they don't want to break your solitude and your peace at this moment they want to make sure that the time is right to give you this offer because they don't want you to reject it right now they want their offer to you to fully be received so there is someone online that has been observing you ladies someone online that has been observing you and they are waiting for the divine time and it comes to and approach you all right because they're very interested in you and they see and they have seen everything that you went through and they see you stepping back up into your power and they want to come to you when the time is right because they want this to go good Give me additional guidance. Give me information in regards to who this observer is. Thank you so much. Who is this observer that is waiting for the divine timing to communicate? Mm, okay. So this is somebody. Could be a fire sign. Could be an Aries, Leo. Or Sagittarius, this person sees that you're that you've been guarded in regards to love because you know you went through a lot of shit, and they see you in this Queen of Swords energy. Like I said, you're single and you're on some solid. You're on me, myself, and I type of shit right now, and they see how you just been cutting people down. Like I don't know if like people been trying to holler at you online and shit, and just in the comment section, this person be seeing you like nigga. If you don't get the fuck out my goddamn comment section, block. And they're like, oh shit, like <laughs> they like god damn, like she be just cutting motherfuckers off. And they definitely see that you've been going through this back and forth, back and forth, looking to your past. You know what I'm saying? And they're really waiting for you to truly, truly let this past go. Because they don't want nothing to come back from your past to interfere with this offer being received. They don't want you to reject this offer. And they're ready. They're, they're waiting for you to get to this point where you're ready to come out of your place of refuge and solitude before they really approach you and try to offer you something because they don't want it to be rejected you guys you feel what i'm saying all right so let's just get some messages from the angels and we up out of here all right and y'all let me know how y'all like y'all like just the the one card off the top y'all like this y'all like me to mix it up y'all like you know i feel like you know do what i want to do sometimes you know be doing whatever father god please give the divine feminine some daily bread to find messages from you and spirit thank you for march the 11th and as well what's this patience father said listen my dear your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize still they need nurturing and patience continue to be positive continue to Wash out things in your life that are no longer serving you if you if you're in a situation i don't give a fuck friend family foe a uh, uh, love job I don't personal I don't give a fuck what it is if there's something that is not resonating with you clean your house continue to do your work and I need you to continue to have patience because when I'm trying to tell you God when I, what we say we come in here for daily bread God got something real delicious cooking up for you okay so he's giving you this slice of nourishment telling you to be patient my dear be patient if you don't feel appreciated you ain't got to deal with it. You got your chemistry back. You have your optimism back. You know what you deserve. You know what you deserve. You know what you want. And you are emotionally fulfilled at this moment. Okay? Continue to give to people that are giving to you. And I mean adequately giving to you. Adequately. Not coming to give to you be like you a fucking charity case because they feel like this is something that they should be doing. Because they do this shit with everybody else. No. I need you to do what is in your heart to do. I ain't like everybody else. Don't treat me like them other bitches. And just because you feel like you got to be like that. Next. I ain't got you to do, bitch. I'm good over here. Alright. Listen. And y'all pay attention. Because there's somebody that is following you online. That got the hots for you. They just been very quiet. So y'all be patient. Because he's about to show himself. He's just waiting for you to really get over this ex before he communicates with y'all. I love y'all. I will see y'all later. Peace.